Love dicks. <laughs> Love dicks? <laughs> Huge fan. Huge fan. Huge fan. Love their work. Dicks are the best. I'm pro dick. <laughs> I'm pro dick. Hey, One action. <clears throat> Welcome to Pro Dicks. <laughs> Is that the name of the show? Sounds like a pro shop for dicks. <laughs> Welcome to Pro Dicks. All right. <clears throat> We're gonna talk about some sanctions. We're talking about some Western sanctions. Let's talk about some Western sanctions. Let's talk about some Western it. sanctions. Is this about the Ukraine and the Russia? So a Russian oligarch, <laughs> a Russian oligarch worth thirteen billion dollars, wow. now cannot pay his cleaner because of said Western sanctions. Wait, so he's like Whoa. broke, broke? Like all his bank accounts, all his frozen finances assets? are just frozen. Yeah, that's came crazy. In Should have got Bitcoin, dog. So his name <laughs> is Mikhail. Friedman, Friedman, I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, but anyways, he said he doesn't know how to live after his wealth was stripped by Western sanctions. This Russian businessman currently lives in the UK and has a net worth of about $13.7 billion. Wow. And while shells rain down on the people in Ukraine, he has told people uh, in articles that his suffering after copying sanctions from the European Union on February 28th uh, and March 15th have put him in such a place where he can't pay his home cleaners, so he has to clean the house by himself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He has to mop. <laughs> like, I can't believe it, I'm mopping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. <laughs> Poor me. Do you think he wished he had a smaller house? I used to be an oil tycoon. <laughs> <laughs> he did say, we sincerely believed we are such good friends of the Western world that we couldn't be punished. The 57-year-old banking magnate co-founded London investment firm Letter One and is a former board member of Russia's Alpha Bank. Can you imagine trying to mop a 10,000 square foot mansion? <laughs> <laughs> he previously... How do you wash an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is not enough. <laughs> My house is too big. He's using Windex to clean his plane. <laughs> That's probably why all those uh, Chinese ballers, the minute they have money, they start sending it west, huh? Yeah. Because they already distrust their government. So they're like, anytime uh, the yeah. government can freeze my yeah. shit, so to keep it liquid, I'm going to buy homes in America, I'm gonna set up bank accounts in America, have a kid in America. Yeah. That's yeah. smart. Dang. Because of the sanctions, he is he is allowed to withdraw about 2,500 pounds a month, which is technically more than the average uh, British person gets in their salary after taxes. 2,500. Mm -hmm. So, aka, um, yeah, uh, blah, blah. it's like a spending so like allowance three, because grand? of the sanctions. Yeah, but a billionaire with three four grand a month, that's a huge Good job. Because his yeah. bills are probably in Crazy. like the millions a month. And he also has yeah. to apply for a special license in order to spend money. Wow. Isn't that fucking you know crazy? What? They're getting wrecked. So, it's hard for me to feel bad for a billionaire. But then um, I'm also wondering like, why did they attack the rich people of Russia? Like, do they have some connections to the government or did they have some involvement? Cause I'm, I'm just curious, like at least, you know, in the States, if let's say something happened and can you imagine like them fucking with Bezos and Bill Gates and all that stuff? And I'm like, isn't it just attacking all of the people? Like the sanctions are on the people. And so if you utilize like the, the banking system. services, yeah. then whether you you're poor too. or rich, you just mm -hmm. get fucked, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He says that uh, he's um, he hit out at sanctions claiming that he doesn't even have the power over Putin or the Kremlin's decisions. Quote, I've never been in any state company or state position. Wow. Uh, if the people who are in charge in the EU believe that because of sanctions, I could approach Mr. Putin and tell him to stop the war and it will work, then I'm afraid we're all in big trouble. Oh, yeah. This guy's cool, man. Yeah, I get that. I mean, he's a realist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you imagine, like, let's say the the owner of like Petco of Russia or some shit? You know, like he's like, yeah, I I just sell fucking doggy food. <laughs> Dude, your Russian it's characters so are on fire. Right? It's like the fucking <laughs> Neapolitan, for example. <laughs> America, like, uh, come on. If you want a doghouse, I give to you, but this sanctions, man. I'm, I'm assuming, though, it's because they want him to stop spending his money in Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, Russia, right? And it's oh, all yeah, about the yeah. flow of money yeah. on yeah. how Russia's gonna. Mm -hmm. Build their military to continue fighting because kind of they get tax. Yeah, the yeah. taxes and stuff like that. Because right now, when they cut off the oil, they cut off all the money mm -hmm. going back into Russia as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of it. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and the, all those pipelines that flow into Western Europe is like a, so a Russia country. as a as an entity will not have any more revenue coming in. Yes, well, and, and it collapses their like, economy in general. But it's also going to collapse Western Europe because most of their energy comes from yes. Russia. Yeah. So that's a huge. It was a conflict of interest too because um, Germany, like you know. Maybe ninety something percent of all their oil and everything, gases, everything, the pipelines—they all like connected to Russia. Does that incentivize Germany to want to fight America then? Because then, like, if you're choking my pipeline, I, you're now my enemy too. Well, they're a part of NATO, so like oh, traditionally, like you know, they're on the West, right? So like they've always been on that side. So um, there's this there's this funny exchange, like when when Trump was in uh, office. Uh, back then, maybe a lot of people didn't get it, but it's been going around like on YouTube and it's it's a clip of him just talking shit to the German chancellor and saying like, like or, or like the representative and he goes, isn't it a conflict of interest that you have a pipeline with Russia? And like, what if something happens? And then it's like, how are you a part of NATO, but at the same time, all of your energy comes from Russia? Yeah. And then I'm like, oh damn, hmm, I don't know. Politics is weird, but. Yeah, how would you navigate that, you know? It's just crazy that like all the things that were sound bites by Trump before that sounded fucking crazy, now you're like, oh damn, each thing kind of makes sense now, holy shit. Yeah, but it's he's such an unlikable character. Yeah. Like that, yeah. if you say anything that maybe even sounds like you're supporting it, then all of a sudden you're like this Trump supporter and people hate you. <laughs> yeah. But then like, I'm like, God damn, dude, I wish it wasn't so like, one way where you gotta be against or with or like it's you like gotta, why don't you just flirt with the middle and stop calling him trump start calling him donald mr donald duck mr. Donald. Mr. Like donald. donald mr donald you know donald. when donald was talking about how it just sounds so nice it does, right? donald because of donald duck because even like you know like donald. right now it seems like putin's like this powerful ass dude right but then before like the video of going around is trump always like pulling motherfuckers in yeah the handshake yeah he's pulling everyone in and then at the in those days when he's saying crazy shit you're like man this guy's a fucking bully but then now you're like when there's an actual bully like a right like uh yeah like um ascending you're like oh that guy was kind of like keeping people in check a little bit <laughs> did you see the compilation of of him Putin? not getting handshakes yes, i love it dude <laughs> like he's all like getting ready to shake hands and then like the prime minister of like france or whatever is like oh putin not <laughs> or like even kim jong-un he's all like showing putin like a map and shit and then putin just like pulls out his hand and he just looks at his <laughs> Oh, it's shit. hilarious. I'll just play this because yeah, it's yeah, semi yeah. worth it. They're scared Putin's gonna shoulder throw. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's gonna judo toss him. And then Putin just puts his hand back on his pop. It's like a, it's like so it's, funny. This is, I hope we don't get none of the music's not gonna play us, right? No, we just make it silent. No, no music. But yeah. Nice okay, so there's the, the right, here we go. Here we go. And wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my oh God. he went back for twice. Uh, what about this one? What about this one? And. Yeah. Dude, he gets moaned. Even Kim Jong Un, dog. Bro, this Kim is... Jong Un. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the origin bro. of a villain, bro. Yeah. And then when he reaches for the hand, and then he looks down at his hand for a second, and goes. Ugh. The internet always wins. He, he he saw this video and then he started the war, dude. <laughs> it was the day after he started. They after, up. yeah, he was like, "All these fuckers never shake my hand." I bet there's a sentiment of that though, right? Like he's trying to prove or something to everybody. That's why he's like pressing so hard for this in a lot of weird ways. Yeah. Uh, His back is against the wall. I will say it is crazy seeing like videos of like uh, Russians on their balconies and stuff taking like rubles and just throwing it out because it just means nothing now. So, what? Yeah, you have seen those? Uh, I saw and that. you got Chinese people at the bottom catching it. <laughs> 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 They're like, buy the dip. One day, one day, it's gonna come back up. Catch the dip. <laughs> Have you heard about? Um, they're not allowed to go on Facebook, or like a lot of these things are getting blocked now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, there's actually okay. Russian YouTubers that they're vlogging and all that, and they're like, I don't know when it's gonna be gone. So we're living in a weird fucking time now, where we can watch people that you know are supposed to be our enemies and we can see what's happening out there and whatever and it's kind of weird man like it's like everyday people are kind of like now we get to connect better because we can see what's happening and we can treat them as human beings whereas in the past 
I think is even as like as early as when we were kids, right? It was easier for nations to assemble people and and their citizens and say, "Fuck those guys. Those guys are the devil." Yeah. And we're yeah, here totally. to murder all of them, mm -hmm. right? And then you only get the propaganda that's given to you only. Yeah. There's yeah. not no other perspective, no other voice. There's no no seeing videos of people, you know, protesting in front of, you know, the Kremlin and stuff mm -hmm. like that and, yeah. and whatnot. There's actually a, a viral clip going around right now of a Russian Instagram influencer and she's like totally crying and stuff like that because she's talking about how uh, as an Instagram influencer, that's her job, that's her life. Obviously people are kind of like low key shaming her and giving her yeah. backlash though because it's like, I don't know, maybe people still don't fully understand the concept of being an, uh, a social media influencer, but she's definitely just like, bawling about how like Instagram is now closing so she like has is losing her livelihood and her ability to do everything oh, that's scary yeah, that's and, that, and that's just like that's real yeah that's real. crazy and it's from war but it is kind of is funny so that like it is my career yeah. but I think it's hilarious yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is like a boohoo thing still yeah. it's like I can bit. see myself too like crying my eyes out if all of YouTube and Instagram <laughs> disappears and I'm like fuck my livelihood but then also the comedy yeah. kicks in and I'm like dude that's hilarious <laughs> Still work at Vladimir's Pizza or whatever. Right. Vladimir's Pizza, <laughs> huge pizza chain. Yeah. Huge Vladimir, pizza. we're all gonna work at Vladimir's Pizza. <laughs>